and I was packing up some books that my parents had at their home, and one of the books caught my eye. It was entitled, Our Amazing World of Nature, which was a, uh, written by a compilation of authors. And in a chapter on trees, Donald Cul Culros Petey wrote, opened the chapter with these words, the greatest force in the natural world is growth. And that statement just really struck me. It became my keynote for the adventure north. And I'm going to be talking about that in a moment. But what struck me about that statement is that metaphor of growth. For truly, it does make sense that the greatest force in nature would be growth. For that is how the forests and meadows and parks and all the open land can continue to expand and recover when, when destruction occurs. But isn't it also true that this is what those of us who are on a spiritual path would also embrace? We want to grow in our character and outgrow the personality traits that hinder us. And so I began to think about all the ways that I could learn from nature and how that would help me grow in my own development. Also in preparing for this talk, I found myself going through many of the past talks that our founder, Reverend Flower A. Newhouse, and Dr. Stephen Isaac did on nature and trees. And having created a nature sanctuary, a preserve here at Questhaven, we would expect that nature would be a favorite topic. And Flower loved all plants, but was especially fond of trees and the beans that she was able to see that supported them on the inner. And it was fascinating to hear talks that she did back in the 1950s when we know Questavon was very young in its development. And she was reading and studying up to find out what kind of plants would do well here. And she said she wanted to plant as many trees as possible. And she knew that that would require water from the wells. And she said we would just, she, they would have to have faith that there would be enough water. It was that important to her that they were here. And now when we look around and see all of the pines and the other trees that were lovingly planted and cared for in all the years since then, we can have that great appreciation for the effort that went into that. Because what would Questhaven be like without the trees? And many of them are not natural here, and so they had to be uh, cared for. And indeed, when you think about any place that you like to visit, without the tall trees, it would just seem so barren. Now, I love green meadows, especially in spring when the wildflowers are blooming. But even a meadow without trees is not nearly as beautiful to look at as when there are trees there. And one explanation of this can be found in the book Angels of Nature that Dr. Isaac edited in which he said that Flower once observed that a place without trees appears empty and desolate when viewed clairvoyantly. This empty emptiness is due in large part to a lack of deva energy. If only people everywhere would perceive that trees not only give outer beauty to the land, she explained on one occasion, but their very forms are enveloped by bright intelligences who radiate superphysical energies through the growing trees. And I love these artists' renditions of what these nature beings might look like. And this would be a great tree, Deva, in what looks like a redwood tree. And just seeing that and feeling that the energy that would be going out for such a being could help us realize the importance of these trees on a different level than just the physical. 